I don't know why it takes so long for me to find a partner. Who says you have to? You are creating an expectation and an assumption that may or may not be relevant. But all this means is you don't understand how reality works. And you are focused on the idea of time instead of timing. Because when you allow reality to work for you instead of trying to make it work in the way that your physical mind thinks it's supposed to, even though it doesn't have a clue what is actually best for you, but you have let it think that it does and let the physical mind run your life by focusing you on time and where's that person? Tick tock, tick tock, I'm running out of time. Why is it taking so long? Because you're waiting for it. That's why. Because waiting is a state unto itself. And the only experience you can have in a state of waiting is waiting. It's not having, it's waiting. Waiting, 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 waiting. So the idea is to trust that passion contains certain automatic functions or tools. And one of those tools is the organizing principle of synchronicity, which means that as you follow your passion, everything that is relevant for you to experience in your life unfolds in perfect timing. And the only way to actually miss an agreement or an appointment that you have made with anyone or anything is to actually spend your time and energy wondering if you're going to miss the appointment. <laughs> That's the paradox. If you just get on with your life, follow your passion, act on it, and trust that synchronicity is bringing you what you need to let you experience the process that will shape you in the way you need to be shaped in order to better appreciate what it is that will manifest in your life, then it doesn't matter what's going on because what's going on right now will always be the most important thing and there is nowhere else more important to be and nothing else more important to be going on than what's going on right now so then you're not waiting for anything you are experiencing everything in the moment as absolutely what it needs to be for you even if it's something you don't objectively prefer there must be a reason for it to be there and if you use it in a way you do prefer, you will always extract the beneficial effect from that moment. It's only when you think something doesn't belong or shouldn't be there that you actually make it take longer because you are invalidating what it is that's come to you that actually is what you need. Mm -hmm. Even though your physical mind says, no, 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 I don't need that. If it's there, yes, you do. Because there are no accidents. Everything is in orchestration. So even if it's what you don't prefer, there must be a reason that you do prefer for that to have shown up. If nothing else, it can even be as simple as something you don't prefer shows up to make it clearer to you what you do prefer by contrast. That's using what you don't prefer in a way that you do. And then it can go on its way because you've used up the reason it showed up. But when you deny it validity, you are invalidating a moment in your life and you have removed a stepping stone and now you have no way to step on that stone to get to the next one and the next and the next. That's fantastic. Does that help? Yes, very much. Why, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>